Welcome to Brent Replays with Himself, a Let's Play series where I go back and play some of my favorite games because I love them. On this episode, I go through the medical facility, and I beat up Bane, and I don't save people, and this is just... This island took a turn. I'm in the maintenance access. I'm I'm not quite sure how people normally get through this part. How does a normal maintenance guy Well I took the maintenance access. Oh yeah? Yes. How'd you get through all the chain link? I don't know. Uh, it's 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 a clusterfuck for sure. For sure, but I do it. It's my job. I like it. I get good pay. I get benefits. Uh, my health care is taken care of because we got a ton of doctors. I just go up to one and I say, I got this weird mole on my shoulder. And they say, I'm a psychiatrist. And I go, just look at my fucking mole. And they do and they tell me it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Level up. If you're wondering, because I'm drinking this casually as well, I take bigger gulps. So, just so you know, there is a difference between a normal sip and my level up sip. Who that? <gasps> Dear Diddy. Mm, gonna find my little girl home. Hey! Why does he need the doctors? There's no reason for the doctors. Where the fuck? I always go this way. Let's go a different way. I was like, I'll go that way because I know what happens. But you guys don't want to see me know what happens. Oh my god! Um, shit. I didn't expect this to go this way. I'm gonna solve some puzzle and go away. Ooh. Trim my beard so it's really nice and even and soft. It's nice. I look amazing now. That was a short one. Oh shit, what the fuck? Squirrel! Killer Croc! Born with a wear mutation that made his skin green and scaly and grew his body to grotesque proportions, Waylon Jones was raised by an alcoholic aunt and a bullied relentlessly for his appearance. He briefly worked as a carnival freak under the name Killer Croc, but his misanthropy grew as did his bestial nature, pushing him to a life of crime. As his physical condition and mental state deteriorate, Killer Croc becomes a more bestial foe, increasingly detached from humanity. I like Killer Croc. He's a good villain. I'm gonna find my baby, gonna hold her tight. Time to blow up some people today. I'm gonna jump this way because I know. Drop down. I love this part, I blow up walls. Drop down. That's her saying no, probably. Okay. Fuck!
Remember, boys and girls, always play it safe. Where did I go, you're wondering? Maybe down here? Shit, they're together. Stop being together. Separate. Scatter! <clears throat> you go that way. Now. Really quickly. Please. I'll be your best friend. Well, you have nowhere to go. So you're going to turn around, and that's when I'm going to get you. Come back this way. I promise it'll be fun for you. I lied! No. You get off me. What's going on? Boom! Oh! Hey! That was cool. I didn't even know I could do that. Hey! What's up? Hi. That took a long time to happen. It happens, don't worry about it. How do I know that? What others, Paul? What? Oh. Why am I able to control that? That's too loud now. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna find my baby, I'm gonna hold her tight. I love the Riddler interview tapes. Enigma? A human. Oh, this is my favorite part. I love that. That is such a good Riddler comment. Like, just... Them going, that's not funny. Like, how could you make a joke like that? And his answer of just, it's not my baby. I don't know, like, I just fucking love that riddle. It's such a good part of this game. And it's such a small part, too. Gonna find my baby, gonna hold her tight. Too late! Is there a riddle in here? I thought there was. Is there not? No. There's you, and you, and you. I remember all of you, though! I love that he sprays the bat symbol. Thank you. Oh, don't be a dick. Uh, did I miss it? Was it back here? I think it was. Was it? No. No, I didn't miss it. Okay. Here. Yarr. Well, 
that vent took some taking. Okay. Well, time to go save some doctors. My time isn't going up. Why isn't my time going up? There we go. Dr. Penelope Young. I ran into a wall and I wasn't able to get through it. Hmm? Hi. Balls. Cash, can you answer a question for me? Was that as cool as I thought it was? Hey! Come on! That was a good joke. But it was against one of my friends. And I don't like that at all. This is my favorite. Huh. Boink. I know, because I just turned on fan one. my favorite part. Are you all ready to see Batman murder someone? Because this definitely murders him. Murder! He's not unconscious. Joker Toxin does not knock people out. It murders them. It's a poison. It straight up kills them. One of the most senior and respected guards at Arkham, Cash is only afraid of one inmate, Killer Croc, who severely wounded Cash once during a riot at the asylum. Cash remains undeterred. Oh, Cash remains determined, however to keep the Asylum's inmates under control, and to conquer his fears of Croc. I love Aaron Cash as a character. Good character. Boink. A pyromaniac, Garfield Linz began as a petty criminal, but soon graduated to major crimes centering around arson, torching huge parts of Gotham in the process. But his fire soon raged out of his control, leaving him horribly scarred by one of his own blazes. His body is almost fully covered with burns, and he now wears a full-body flame-retardant suit when he's out pursuing his criminal interests between bouts of incarceration in Blackgate. See? Not all Batman villains are crazy. Some of them are just arsonists. I want to talk to the doctor. I need to listen. What's the Titan process? Oh. 
Aww. Then Goldberg sets a term of endearment. Fuck you, man. You had me feeling. I felt something. I felt something for you. And what did you do? You mocked it. Yeah, we're, I'm working on it, Batman. Get off my ass about it. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. I forgot about these. Project Titan's a good thing. It makes them more resilient so that you can do a more in-depth psychoanalysis and they don't get damaged. That's good. That's actually a really cool thing. Good job. I nailed that one. I got hit once, but I nailed it. <laughs> you did speak. You were like, it's a trap. That's talking. All right, well, go hang out with the other doctors. Oh, Thomas Elliot. Mm. Tommy Elliot and Bruce Wayne were childhood friends and unknown to Bruce, dark reflections of each other. A childhood sociopath, Elliot tried to kill his parents so he could inherit their fortune. When his plans failed, partly due to the surgical skills of Thomas Wayne, Bruce's father, Elliot blamed Bruce. An incredibly skilled surgeon as an adult, Elliot planned an elaborate revenge scheme on the Batman. He disguised himself as the villain Hush, his face covered in bandages. But he was in the end defeated and unmasked by the Dark Knight. Hush still plots revenge against Batman, generating complicated schemes and surgical precision. Hush is a good comic too. Recommended if you want to read it. It's quite delightful. I remember Box now. Fuck off! There you go. Huh. Ah, shit. Did I do it? Fuck. I missed one. Wait! No, where's the vent? I need the vent. The vent. I gotta go through the vent to get to this puzzle piece. Flaps. More flaps. 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 Jesus Christ. This is a long hallway. 
Flops! Hi! Ah, crap, I messed it up. Just stay down. You're fine. Thanks, though. Thank you for being a criminal. Not gonna use my detective vision. Instead, I'm gonna do this by the book. I didn't do it. Sneak, sneak, sneak. <gasps> Level up. Ooh, that tastes good. There we go. Auto proximity. But Doc, I saved you. Ooh, did I? All right. Huh? The door's locked. Hang on, I'm trying to find a way in. Oh, I found it. Hello. Did you know that door was locked? They are. Oh, they're in control now. Time for another. Hello, you're a person. Bash in the face. That was weird. I didn't even know you were here. Huh? There is a vent there. Mm -hmm. Alright, whatever. Probably just went through the wrong hole. Hello, boys! They are perfectly safe. What? No! I don't care. Fuck you. No! Spoiler alert, you don't see shit. Because you're blind. 
Guys, seriously. What's going on with you? Hi. That's the showers. Oh, what happened? Whoa. God, you guys are awful. I took out those three so easily. Let's all, um... Let's all separate. Yeah, everyone? Clearly we should separate. We're better separate than we are together. More teeth? I love teeth. Let's get into a precarious elevator. Let's watch TV. What's on? <laughs> Me. <laughs> Who this? this part. Another great villain. He was the only one I wasn't able to get on my tattoos. I wish I could have. I still can. Could do it. I don't know. Actually, yeah! Arkham! That's the, this tattoo, because I love the bat symbol in the Arkham games. Bat symbol! That's a good spot to take a small break so I can go to the bathroom. Resume this, mother. Ugh. That's a lot of dead bodies. I'm curious how much of Mark Hamill is uh, ad-libbed in this. I'd love to ask him, like, what lines he ad-libbed. Because I bet he ad-libbed a bit. I fucking missed that. Sorry. Texting my brother, he just finished playing Last of Us for the first time. Gordon, no! I missed that. Fuck. Such a good scene, too, when he's just like, oh, oh, but my eyes are all fucked up. Look at that. I'm Batman. He's like a demon. I'm Batman. I love the scarecrow parts. Dink, dunk. I think I could safely die now and I'd be okay. I'm going to switch to a different glass. Okay. Gordon? You cannot feel a pulse through thick gloves. Fuck you, Batman. I don't care how, like, perfect your mental and physical capabilities are. I remember this for the first time. All the bugs and stuff. Oh, and the squishing. When he steps on the bugs, you can hear the squishing. That's sweet. Anyway, he would not have been able to feel a fucking pulse through his gloves. Fuck you, Batman. I love Batman, but fuck that. I don't want to be in here. Ugh. 
Well, this place is awful. Let's leave. Fuck. I don't want to be in here anymore, boys. Hi, right, Canada. What's in bag number one? That is actually a good depiction of Thomas Wayne. In the comics, he was not as nice as he is in the movies. In the movies, he's always like, Bruce, don't be afraid. Shit like that. Thomas Wayne in the comics was the pinnacle of toxic masculinity. He was like... Like, when he got... Like, when he was playing around as Zorro... In the comics, there's a depiction of Thomas where he's just like, Quit fooling around! Grow the fuck up! That's a good Thomas Wayne. It was a complicated relationship. I get why Hollywood turns it into the fucking Don't be afraid! And shit like that. Like, oh my god, what happened? Holy shit. Um, like, I get it, but at the same time, it's not... I don't know. I, I, I think I like the damaged version where his dad was a dick way more than I like the nice version of him. But that's just me. Hey, my bat suit's fixed. Sweet! Whoa, I fucking love Scarecrow. I fucking love Scarecrow in Arkham Knight. He went through surgery to actually have thread so- Oh, it's so fucked up. Hello! Game Scarecrow. Now then, escape. Go that way, you idiot. Eat that signal, bitch. Huh? Ah. Maybe don't build me a world where I can defeat you. Yes, please. <clears throat> Daunted and bullied as a youth, Jonathan Crane vowed to be overcome his fears through the study of psychology and biochemistry. Kicked out of his university for experimenting on human subjects, Crane then adopted the identity of the Scarecrow and armed himself with a specialized fear-inducing gas that makes a person's deepest phobias become frighteningly real. His ongoing criminal reign of terror makes him one of Batman's most psychologically dangerous foes. Scarecrow's a good one. One of the villains I couldn't get tattooed, though. Mainly because his symbol is the upside-down bat symbol with eyes, like a pumpkin. Hang on. A crooked financier who stole millions of dollars. Warren White thought he'd scored a legal victory when his insanity plea went through. But when he got to Arkham Asylum, he realized his mistake. Driven insane by the other inmates, he was also disfigured by an encounter with Mr. Freeze that left him without hair, a nose, ears, or lips. Calling himself the Great White Shark, he filed his teeth into fangs to more perfectly resemble his new namesake. Putting his financial skills to use, he has become a major player in Gotham's underground crime scene, running a number of rackets from his cell in Arkham. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Your dad's fine. Your dad is... I ran into him in the hallway, and he was like, 
hey Batman, um, I'm great. I'm gonna. I hope you can tell my daughter how great I'm doing. It'd be great. He's great. Oh, unnamed guard. You went into a different dimension. Hmm? Balls! He gets balls because he has knives. Gotta hit again. No! Nailed it. Is there anything this way? Hmm? What's this way? What's that door? Oh! It's like a door to that area that was all locked down. Oh, I didn't know that. I actually didn't know that. I actually never fucking paid attention to this game. That's what happens when you hit 30. You start paying attention. Fuck you! Ah, oh, fuck you. Gordon, are you okay? Gordon? Oh, he's okay. He's moving. What are you saying? Does your suit go in? Is that practical? I don't think that's practical. Turtle bird. One of my favorite villains. Boom. Right there. Imprisoned from birth to serve his dead father's sentence, Bane was raised inside the horrific environs of Santa Prisca's prison. His only friend in the hellhole was a teddy bear he named Ozito. Finding solace in smuggled, in smuggled books and meditation, he developed incredible powers of concentration. When he was subjected to military experiments using a steroid codenamed Venom, his iron-forged will helped him survive when other test subjects had died, and he managed to escape. Determined to prove his worth, he sought out Batman and broke the Dark Knight's spine. A fucking insane comic. If you have not read Nightfall, please do. But Batman recovered and managed to best Bane. After fucking dealing with all the bullshit that was caused by that, because a bunch of people were like, oh, no, 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 including Asriel, who's a fucking dick. But Batman recovered and managed to best Bane, cutting off the precious venom supply that transforms Bane into a superhuman. Bane's actually really fucking cool. Do not base Bane off that Uma Thurman, George Clooney fucking movie. Arnold was in it as well. It's a fun movie. If you go into it drunk, stoned, and just not expecting anything. But, shit movie. Schumacher. Schumacher fucking ruined Batman. Schumacher's the person who put nips on Batman. Who puts nipples on Batman? Anyway, I'm done. Get out of here! Okay. Gee, I wonder who that guy tied up is. Fuck you, bitch! And you're unconscious. Dubs, take the vents. God, I fucking hate this. 
fucking love this game. It's gonna be fucking magical. Fuck you. you fucking die. Whoop. Hmm. <laughs> Dude, you're an idiot. That was a that's a see-through. I can see through it. You didn't see a man walking? You dummy. Two. That means one. Oh shit. Ugh. Okay. Turn around. Walk that way. Kicked in the knee and choked unconscious. You give criminals a bad name. Bam, and Batman rocks. Cutscene. Bam. Oh, Jim. We're witty together. Burp, burp, burp. Am I? I can't pause. I was hoping to pause. I'll beat the boss, then get another drink. I'm not empty, I just want a different class. Okay. Cut him down. That was a good one. That was a good one. Good job. Are you cutting him down? Oh, you're not cutting him down. Oh, you're filling him with venom. Oh, my. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Huh. Huh. Punch. Oh, he's pissed. You're very big. Oh, shit. Ugh. Oh, I lied. Don't do that. Ugh. Oh, I got punched. Ah, I got hit again. Oh, that was close. Shit. Hang on. I don't want to deal with you guys. My God, that's a death. I gotta finish my drink.
Go fill another one, I'll try again. Fuck you! Huh. Come on, fuckface! Oh, I'm gonna break you again! I'm Bane! Fuck you, dick! Oh, I escaped! I wouldn't do that. That seems like a load bearing. That's a load bearing column. Huah! <clears throat> I'll take that. No tubing for you. Huah! Oh! Oh! I'd say sorry, but I don't give a fuck. Oof. That sucks. Enjoy this! for you. Ow. Oh shit, there's so many more. Hang on. I gotta get away. Oh shit. There's so many of them. Oh, why? Fuck. Ow. Come on, fuckface. Yeah, dummy. Yes! Oh, God. I still almost died. Hard is hard, guys. Even the bad guys are like, Oh, boy. We did bad on this one, guys. We may have this up, baby. <laughs> Out of the sewers. Okay, handle this! <laughs> Jim, handle this! Jim! Jim, handle this! Stop calling her a bruja. I don't know what that means! <sighs> Eat my oh shit! Fuck! 
Fuck. That's so good. <laughs> Even Gordon's like... Did you hit him with your car? Yeah. That cuts. What? The boat's going, I can't hear, fuck. Thank you all so much for watching. To join my guests and I live, check out our Twitch channel, Merely Competent. You can reach us at the social media links in these credits. And if you want to support us even more, check out our Patreon. Thank you to the fiends currently supporting us. We will see you all next time. Have a good evening.